Representative Thomas Massey tweeted out, your primary care provider was bribed to get you to take the jab. Oh, but Congressman Massey, these were incentive payments. Did they say that? Not bribes. Always follow the money. I guess that's what they told him. I, I wouldn't, I, that's not since surprise, you know what surprise mechanics is? No. So uh, all these like EA and all these big video game companies, they make gambling for kids with their, you know, you want like, I don't know, I don't care about soccer, but you want to get the soccer player out of like a mystery box. So you, you pay like a dollar and you no get like a box kidding. and it, it's like a slot machine and maybe, maybe you'll get it, right? It's already ripping you off to just sell you a thing like that separately. That's not a real thing. So they had a hearing about it and they go, is this gambling? No, we call it surprise mechanics. No. Yeah. Well, this is great. Incentive payments. Well, it's incentive payments. So <laughs> no shit. Incentive payments. So Congressman Massey is revealing here that doctors were given incentive payments or kickbacks for forcing the experimental procedure on their patients. Now, what exactly is are you insinuating here, Congressman Massey? Are you suggesting that our trust him? trusted, wholesome country doctors who just want to keep the lights on and make their neighbors healthy could possibly be driven by other motives? Is that what he's saying, Kurt? Like paying back their massive school loans? (laughs) To to even consider that, Kurt, the possibility that someone with a century of debt in front of them would might possibly take the devil's deal is like, that's like insinuating that Deborah Messing doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> How <laughs> dare you, Trump? <laughs> She's an anti-dentite. <laughs> <laughs> so you want to see it? Here it is. Here's the the COVID nineteen vaccine provider incentive program. It's open to you if you are participating, Kentucky. If you are participating, Kentucky primary care provider with an Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield Medicaid Anthem panel the size of twenty five or more. The results will be calculated for two time periods. How do you qualify for a bonus? You will receive an initial incentive payout based on the following <laughs> rates. 30% Whoa. Anthem members vaccinated. You're going to get a $20 bonus per vaccinated member. Second place, set of steak knives. If you- <laughs> Third place, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> to sell vaccine, it takes big brass take balls. Take brass balls. <laughs> Always be closing. <laughs> Always be poking. Always be poking and jabbing. 40% of Anthem members vaccinated, you get a $45 bonus. 50%, six, 75% of Anthem members vaccinated, you're going to get a $125 bonus per vaccinated member. Ooh, that's like real stripper money. That's that's less than a plate of sushi. Wow, the, in, the final incentive payment is calculated based on members who are newly vaccinated between September and December. Wow. Look, that goes all the way up to... $250 bonus. Wow. Wow. What a great deal. You're doing a great deed, slowing the spread, that's and what, making money. And it's great when two things come together that are both good. So <laughs> that's what you're worth to them, Kurt. $250. Um, that's what you're worth to a doctor. So I didn't even go to a doctor. I went to a store. Did you, I, did you drive through a parking lot <laughs> and get your experimental medical treatment? <laughs> That's what to, people were doing. They were driving into freaking sports stadium parking lots, yeah. and they were getting this experimental medical treatment, which, by the way, is safe and effective. Did ah. those people that gave that to them get their $250 bonus? <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> this is the approach we're taking. Incentive <laughs> payments. Super safe. And uh, Elon Musk even weighed in on this Twitter thread underneath it with two exclamation points. That's uh, that's when you want to look like you participated without actually having anything to say. <laughs> that's that's he should he should get update his emoji. He should get a serious face emoji. I think this is like the same exclamation points when he found out Amber Heard's Amber Heard's kid was his. <laughs> <laughs> the same exact text. Our Amber kid. What that happened? His dad said that on some interview. His dad said that. Yeah. So I didn't even know they dated. They dated Amber Kid yeah, and uh, that was the guy that she with Johnny. She, she was like cheating on Johnny with her. Like I don't know if they were cheating, but that boy, was does that big... show you how much women are attracted to money or what? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I not well, hey, I'm not a, hey, oh, I don't know, but you're gonna Elon Musk is sure, sure I'm sure a fine fellow to date for a young lady, but to compare that guy 
to Johnny Mother Efren. What Depp? was that? She don't care. She I almost you. I wanted to say MF and I wanted to say motherfucker, <laughs> but then I didn't want to swear and I wanted to say MF and it came out MF. <laughs> I sound like Joe Biden. <laughs> this ever, country yeah. could be described in one word: Black <laughs> <laughs> she had her eggs frozen and so outside of her body? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> yeah, she Cuz that's one frigid bitch. That's yeah, what I'm saying. No, that I wish I thought of that kind of uh, uh, but he they didn't have sex to make this kid. She got his sperm and cuz he wanted the eggs destroyed. This is all according to his dad. Really? Yeah. Boy, thanks dad for spreading my spreading my business around. Well, I didn't know any of this. Yeah. I, there's so much stuff I don't know. I, I'm sure the people who watch the show are aware of I have huge gaps in my knowledge. Uh, Oil Field Rando says, at the start of the vaccinations, my doctor told me I didn't need the shots because of my age and fitness. A year later, he was telling me I definitely needed the shots. Well, he definitely needed $250, I guess. Well, let's not get all conspiracy theory <laughs> over here, Kurt. <laughs> There must be a rational reason why he became a completely different person over just one year, right? I mean, people change, <laughs> right? Come on, Kurt. People you, change. So you're saying it had nothing to do with the incentive payment program? I'm saying maybe he changed from an ethical person to a desperate animal that will eat anything in its path. Um, but as long as we don't blame it on the incentivizing, that's the thing that the real shame is. You, you don't want to blame it on the incentivizing. Yeah. Boy, it, it seems like everybody you put your complete faith in, they always betray you like this, right? Yeah, well, you're not supposed to worship false idols, uh, and that's why. Especially our political leaders. They're so adorable and cute when they're little. Well, <laughs> my last hope is Michelle Obama running. But Yeah, me too. <laughs> One day our, our political leaders are eating a, a banana you gave them. The next day it's your face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, this guy Colin Smothers says, uh, "Oh, he's one. He's the Smothers brothers. You know, he's maybe their kid." I wondered why our primary care physician was pushing the vaccine so hard, even though my wife and I got it and recovered from COVID in November of 2020. Really good for you. I suspected back then there was some incentive program, but I had no proof, and now we do. Why did it take so long for this to come out? Um. Yeah, well, it looks like a thing that a document that would have been around. Yeah, like they must have no other no other doctor put this in an email to somebody at at oh, I'm sure if they sent it to a journalist that just got buried because all the journalists in America who aren't on YouTube and even most of them on YouTube uh, take big pharma money. And, I still see imbeciles talking about how ivermectin is a horse medicine. I still my former roommate who I love to death. And uh, by the way, he doesn't disown me over all the like all my other friends have. Well, he shouldn't. I got I was right about COVID, and almost all my Hollywood friends disowned me over it. The ones who hadn't disowned me over RussiaGate, Syria, January sixth, the written house boy, the written house, <laughs> the rest of them. I'm not kidding. It's uh, it's a it's really weird to walk into a comedy room now and uh, as myself. Well, politically, they couldn't they couldn't uh, you know have a loose cannon. Uh, you know, yeah, it's get you know. I'm, I'm People, assuming a lot of your friends are white males that still would like to work. Yeah, well, yeah. but I'm talking even comedians who were shoulder to shoulder with me debunking RussiaGate held for the COVID thing and slandered me. But that's publicly. because they wove science. <laughs> <laughs> we wove science. That's why. <laughs> One guy blocked me and then smeared me. One guy who was my friend, been in my house, been on our show, been on our show did many times. Did he do a block and smear? Did, did, did the old, did give me a grim job, as we used to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, that's what Ryan, Ryan Grimm pioneered that technique of blocking someone and then slandering them on public media. That's the way to do it. On social you media. You don't give them a platform. Yeah. Uh, and I don't even, I'm not even going to mention their names to people who do that anymore i used to mention their name i will mention ryan grim because uh grim job i have because i call it a grim job you got to explain to people and he is the dc bureau chief he's not some jag off po po podcast host right uh the dc bureau chief for the intercept which is a paper no one fucking reads and they wouldn't be around if they weren't funded by a billionaire no, they they were they were started by Glenn Greenwald to tell the truth about shit, and then they don't tell the truth about Ukraine. They don't tell the truth about Syria. They don't tell the truth about uh, anything. What what they they, they I think they, Israel stuff. They, they have do. Jim. Maybe maybe there's some stuff. You know, I think I, I know they they say the uh, you know 
a lot of these. Maybe so. Maybe Pierre well, maybe, 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 doesn't have any uh, money interest in Gaza or Israel. I would say that. I find it hard to believe, but maybe. Pierre Omidar? What was he, Persian uh, or something? Uh, maybe Dimi Dimi Dar? I don't know. The money's coming from like a guy on the other side. Is I, that, oh, is that what that what is? What kind of name is Omidar? It ain't. I don't, you know, I'm bad with that. You could tell. I didn't, I didn't know. That, Sounds Persian to me. I didn't know scheme at the end of your name meant you were Polish till about five minutes ago. That's how bad I am. Really? Yeah, I'm not that smart, Kurt. I don't know if you haven't figured this out yet. Um, all right. Uh, you know what? We're going to go. From Chicago. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna switch over to Rumble right now. Oh, nice! Yeah, where you hear the shit I say on Rumble? So, <laughs> <laughs> let me see. Let me see. Hey, what's... Jimmy, will you read this one one more time? Just read this to, so everybody knows. Okay, so... Iranian Persian. There you go. Oh, maybe that's why. Yeah, he's Iranian. So that's why they can tell the truth about uh, is Israel Gaza. When did they start calling themselves Iranian? Not but Persian? they certainly couldn't tell the truth about COVID. They couldn't tell the truth about COVID-19 vaccines. They couldn't tell the truth about lockdowns. They couldn't tell the truth about masks. They couldn't tell the truth about Ukraine. They couldn't tell the truth about Syria. There's a Russiagate. Well, there's lots, by, there's uh, lots yeah. of things that the people at The Intercept cannot tell the truth about. Russiagate's yeah. one of the biggest ones. They're the biggest liars in the world. At the Intercept, and they're another okay. shit publication, which is why guys who are shit as people like you. Ryan Grimm rise to the top. Well, he he advocated. It's funny for, that Glenn Greenwald yeah. still pretends Ryan Grimm isn't what he is. I well, guess he still, he still has to talk to news people. Uh, it's just funny that he. Um, also, he's from a bunch of nerds. Well, every time I meet these people, you know, no, like, I'm, I mean that's that just Aaron and Max, who I like a lot. But when I was there at that thing, like Aaron Bate is still nice to those people. He, th these guys who are real are journalists are still nice to. That's real what I'm saying. Nerds. And when I went to that <laughs> that that festival, it was fun. And I'm watching, and I'm like, oh, Max Blumenthal is like a bad boy here. Oh, like, Max Blumenthal is a bad boy wherever he goes. Yeah, no, but it's that's like, why I like him. That's why I like him. But it's yeah. in a circle of like real nerds. Mm. Like nerds that I didn't even yeah not and not nerds because they're into like some dopey Star Wars no shit. Like, no real yeah like, like out they, of the womb nerd yeah they played cello and shit in school <laughs> them kind of nerds <laughs> they wrote an article in the school paper that we should go to school on Saturday those the, kinds. yeah those kind do you play the violin the viola <laughs> <laughs> the kind who get revenge in that <laughs> my brother actually played the viola what is that. I don't know. It's like a violin, but uh, maybe there's one less string or something. I don't the know. The violin's too manly for you. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just a smaller. But I don't not know a cello. how, but he doesn't play it anymore. I don't know how you could Which learn. Which brother? Miles. Oh. I don't know how you could learn an instrument, and that's well. I kind of learned the piano, and I stopped playing. It's like a guitar-sized violin. I, think. I can't even remember. I I can't remember anything on how to play the piano. I can remember one stupid thing, chord progression that I learned, and that's it. And I used to go for piano lessons a couple, you know, at least a year straight, maybe two. Mm. Anyway, I, hey, what's, we're on Locals. So we're, we're doing this thing called Locals, right? So now if you're a member of the Jimmy Dore Show Premium, what you get is uh, you get access to tickets earlier. Plus you get the whole live stream unedited and you don't have to wait for clips to come out. And a lot of times we don't drop some of the clips from the show. So you get the whole show. That's our uh our bonus for you and plus you get to watch the covid lies are funny plus our live stream show the uh the live panel show that's that's available right chris for the the premium members on the website yeah i saw because somebody uh tweeted at me like hey i because i there was a clip of the live show uh with the panel show and someone said, I thought you were going to make this available to members. And I'm like, I thought we were. And then I tried to log into my own website and I couldn't remember my passcode. So <laughs> it, it is available, right, Chris? <laughs> he does not seem sure. He's giving me the, as, as far as I know, I mean, uh, I mean, sure. I mean, uh, let's call, let's ask Andrew. I don't know. Is, is, it, is it available? Does anybody know how to get onto the premiums? Oh. It's on there. Thank you. All right. And Chris goes, it's on. It's on. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know it was on. He went from, uh, the, 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 that's a pretty nice quick. So, but we're also, if you're, if you're, if you're on Rumble, we're doing this thing called Locals, right? So I don't even know what this was. It's like a dating thing. It does, right? You guys hooking so, up with people? You gotta, you gotta swipe harder. Meet locals in your area. Oh, uh, we're uh, like swingers. area man. 
right? We should. That's 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 my premium program. It's called Area Man. <laughs> you know how they do at the Onion, Area Man. Uh, we're on locals. We'll be doing our first Q and A. That stands for question and answers. After today's show, that's today. Go to jimmydoor.locals.com. Oh, really? Or click the join button if you're watching from Rumble right now. Hey, come see us do a live stand-up show. We're going to be in Palmdale, California, Omaha, Nebraska, Des Moines, Milwaukee, Lansing, Michigan, Bend, Oregon, Portland, Oregon, Seattle, Washington, Philadelphia, Boston, and more. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for those tickets. And we're adding a second show in London. (laughs) 